Hello everyone. Have a nice day. In this video, I will show on how to start your programming in SysMac Studio, Part 2. In this lesson, we will use NB Series HMI using variable table. In your SysMac Studio, open new project. Then enter your project name. Then select what PLC type you are using, but now we will use NX102 PLC. Then select your PLC model. Then your device version. And click create. Then add your expansion unit. Now we will add 16.0 NPN digital input, and 16.0 NPN digital output unit. If you are using this unit, you need to use additional I.O. power supply. Then add your NXID 5342, 16.0 NPN digital input. and your NXOD5121, 16 points NPN digital output. Then in your NB Designer, open new project. And enter your project name. And click OK. Then in your project library window, click PT and select NB7W-TW01B. Then click PLC. You can use NX1 series Ethernet, UDP slave, if you are using NX1 series PLC. But now we will use CJ series Ethernet, UDP slave, so that you can use this in your NJ series PLC. Then click connector, and add Ethernet. In your communication setting window, click add. Then in device type, select PT. Then in IP address, you can use HMI default, but now we will change to 2. In port number, we will use default, 9600. In communication protocol, we will use default, CJ series Ethernet UDP. In node ID, we will use 2. And click OK. Now we already added our HMI0 communication setting. Now we will add our PLC communication setting. In device type, select PLC. Then in IP address, we will change to 1. Then in port number, we will use default, 9600. Then in node ID, we will change to 1. And click OK. Now we already added our PLC0 communication setting. Click OK. We will check our PT property. and our PLC property.
now we need to enable the memory settings for CJ series unit. In your SysMac Studio, double click in controller setup, then double click in memory settings. In memory settings window, choose what device you need to use. As an example, we will enable CIO, WR, and DM area type. Now I will show on how to declare your memory settings in global variable.
If you want to know the shortcut keys, just click on help and select keyboard mapping reference. Here, you can see the shortcut keys that you can use in program editing.